Hello everyone and welcome to another spooky review from Spooky Ventures. This one is our 50th spooky review, so it's a little bit of a milestone. This one is also part of my efforts to put the spooky back into Christmas. As part of that campaign, I've so far published two books of the holiday horror of holiday horror and have created a new put the spooky back into Christmas merchandise for our cafe press store two years in a row. In terms of the review this time around, I'm looking at a movie whose title is a little hard to pronounce for me, and it is, it is a mashup of Christmas and Massacre. The title is Chris Massacre, and while it's not so easy for me to say it out loud, it's a very appropriate title for the film. This movie is a lot of fun. It's definitely done as a nod to the classic slasher films of bygone days. Um, I'm at once reminded of both the original Black Christmas and the slasher spoof student bodies. That second one is fitting because this really is a horror comedy. I think that Silent Night, Deadly Night is also a valid reference point. Um, this is definitely an indie film, and a lot of that can be seen in the effects and even in some of the performances. The thing is, that aspect is actually a positive on a movie like this. Um, the film centers around a group of college students who are finishing up their school year and uh, getting ready to celebrate Christmas with a party that includes a secret Santa uh, exchange. Now, as you might guess, that celebration is marred as some of the characters start to get murdered. It takes a while for the other characters to uh, realize what is going on, and by the time they do, things have gotten pretty crazy. Now, I said that the movie is a comedy. Well, it is actually very funny, and intentionally so. There are some really laugh-out-loud lines. At least one of the characters is largely there for his com comedic value. And that character also brings up another point. I should mention, in terms of trigger warnings, that this does include a lot of alcohol and drug consumption. Um, there are some plot holes here and some other things that don't make a lot of sense. One of the first ones I noticed was a Secret Santa gift that is obviously too large to fit into the box that's shown to be holding it. Now, if this were a straight horror movie, those things would be a problem. But since it's a comedy, they sort of add to the silliness, really. Um, the kills are at times similarly goofy. They are also often inventive and very clever. Um, there's one, on the point, one point where one of the kills doesn't go as planned also, and that's used for really great comedic effect. Interesting kills it happens to be one of the key things in any good slasher movie, and they really did a great job with that. All in all, this movie is just a lot of fun. It's goofy in some interesting ways, and its indie nature really feeds into that. It seems a good homage to slasher films while also managing to spoof, spoof them. The result is an enjoyable holiday horror comedy. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.